That's what I was telling you, man. I said the first time I met her. She is mentally crazy, like for real. She acts like it. Uh, the first time I ever met her, though, I was at uh, the club. I was walking downtown, and uh, my buddies were all at uh, the club, and they're like, man, this girl's showing her boobs, man. All you gotta do is tell her. So I was like, hey, just show your boobs. And so this shit she did, dude. And then, uh, so then, like, uh, she was just, she, uh, I went outside and, like, uh, covered her up in my jacket and crap. She's like, oh, and then Savannah Hall was there. She's like, this is my best friend. I think she was tripping balls because she just met the girl. And then, uh, we all went to her house afterwards, and I started dating her. Like a retard. She's engaged to this dude that's got some money right now. Yeah. That's why she's driving she's that a nice car, digger. by the way. I didn't know she was even driving a car. That red car that's in the I driveway? I didn't see it. They kept believing well, and stuff. She's living there for free. She's not working at all. And she drives his car over to our house while he's at work. And he's got the truth and hangs out with some other dudes. She's just cheating on me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sounds like ass. <laughs> uh, but... That drama around where I'm staying at. Yeah, I didn't know she had what, like what that dude, man. I never had sex with her. What happens that dude's on break or something and sees that car sitting there? He's like, hey, what's she doing here? She she her in Columbus? Are hanging out. Brings trouble to you. Yeah. I don't want to. What's her dude's name? She uh, uh, tra she's still living in Franklin, though, right? I have no idea. That's where she's trying to like two or three times a week to hang out with her. <laughs> yeah. I just shoot down the basement and. Well, we went to, he got, he got a lady that his, um, church his kids go to and stuff, but they, like, they do weird stuff, like, they get healed and fall down. And yeah, I've seen that, you know what I mean, like, falling back in the spirit and all that, whatnot, but. And then we went to Sunday school, and we didn't understand anything. Yeah. It was, like, it was a lot. Right. Um, yeah. Teach kind of a different book. The minor has been like telling you just straight up stuff. If but we go up to Lafayette. There's what go five to... different editions somewhere in there. Oh man, there's more than yeah. translation. But like so that that doesn't mean that it's well, that makes it even more legit. Like with all the different translations. I know, that's and, what I'm saying they were probably just teaching out of a different book. No, nah, they probably just were crazy. <laughs> But no, like, uh, I don't know, I've been to some churches, man, where they do that fall out of the street and stuff, and I've seen a lot of people, which is kind of sad, but, like, they probably fake it and stuff, and it's like, they, I don't know why they do it either, man, it's like, I've seen ladies, like, freaking trip, like, just, tourism yeah, money in the, but the ladies do it because they're actually, like, I don't know, if they're, like, struggling with trying to seek God, and then they just go all out, and they're not really, like, learning the Word of God and doing it right, and they just, I don't know, man, they feel like, they're getting all this religion thing, man, I mean, but it's tough, but yeah, I, I freaking read the Bible like four times, and I locked myself in my room for 30 days watching that preaching crap on TV and got super depressed because I quit hanging out with all my buddies, and then, uh, because I, I figured, man, I was like, if I start hanging out with him again, I was like, I bet y'all, I'll go end up asking if I want to smoke a joint or something, and then I'll be right back and get high and crap. So I was like, I, was, I, I figured, I was like, man, I'm just going to get as strong as I can in God, man. I started praying and fasting and crap, and then, uh, uh, then I started, like, getting back out, man, because I couldn't sit in the room that long, man. That was just killing me. And then now I'm getting back in shape and stuff, but... I was, it was getting on, like, it was getting wearing on my body, because I was sitting in front of a computer screen a lot and stuff like that. Man, that would kill you. <laughs> Just said, I was, like, eight hours a day. I was trying to learn everything in the library, man. <laughs> and uh, so I could have a heads up, like, if anybody struggled with certain kind of things, I, knew, I already knew about them, and I could tell them, like, hey, you know what I mean, I know what I'm talking about, I can help you out with this and this and this. Like, I studied meth, I studied club drugs, I studied, like, uh, everything from like suicide, teen suicide to like all that kind of bull crap and dabbled in it and uh, I didn't get as far as I wanted to though because <laughs> I, I kept getting like overwhelmed I tried to take the world on at one time and it was freaking tough but, but yeah I read the Bible four times and I started listening to it on the audio Bible and I listened to it probably like 60 times so I, I did like all kinds of crap man I was working at factories while I was listening to the Bible I magnetize it on my machines, and they used to call me Shaft Man over at MTN because I'd uh, assemble the shafts faster than all of them. But uh, that was only one night, though, man. I was just hauling balls, and they're like, they call, you do sort of call me Shaft Man. 
And uh, I was like, hey, man. Bill. Especially if you're Dylan. Well, it's Arvin, but for Sia. For Sia, man. I was over for Sia, too. He's got 30 <laughs> Wow, you should get me a job again. I know you got the hookup, too. I, I've well, been in there. Well, actually, it's some temporary service right now. Selkin? Or uh, well, Aerotech? Is it Aerotech? They're supposed to start hiring in September, supposedly. September, supposedly. Well, see, they just hired them all on and through Belkin. Do you That's Belkin. I just got hired on through Belkin, but I just got fired for using my cell phone, man. I got so upset with Bruce C. because... They were peeing me off, man. I got production every night as the best worker they had, and they, they'd still be, like, talking crap behind my back, like, oh, he might not last here long. And I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, shut the F up is what I was getting to the point of saying, because, like, it was peeing me off, man. And then, like, these, they would, like, they'd get onto you for little stuff. Like, you didn't walk on the green line. And I'm like, man, I just saw five guys. Huh? I know. But see, the thing is though, is that they pay a lot of money, but they get you on that like fire me crap and like always, yeah, that's where they get you at, man. And I was all like, man, you little punk. Like, cause I was like, dude, I was like, I, I did the best job here. And then I got so mad because they kept like doing it, harassing me and stuff. So they do. I, I texted my grandma and I was like, hey, uh, I'm having problems at work. And then the guy saw me on my phone. They were just spying on me. And, like, he's like, he's like, what was you doing on your phone? I said, I was checking the time. He said, no, you weren't. I said, dude, don't tell me what the F I was doing on my phone. And then, like, I got mad. And I, he's like, get over here, dick. And dick came over. I said, hey, suck at my D, bro. <laughs> and he's like, he said, this guy just told me to suck his D. I said, yeah. I was like, suck it right now. I was so mad, dude. And then uh, I was like, all right, man. I said, look, this is the deal. I said, I get production every night. I said, since I've been here, I said, you get production every night. I said, I don't want to hear no B.I. and all this kind of stuff. And I said, I can work better than all you. I was like, I can run faster than all you. And uh, all this crap. I was just so mad because they were like, they were all like taunting me and crap. So I was like, I'll, I'll just play the game with them. So I started going all crazy and stuff. I was like, all right. I said, everybody. I said, right now. I was like, I'll challenge all of you to fight in the parking lot right now. Let's go. And then they were like, because I knew they were going to fire me no matter what. So I was like, screw it. And I, I went out to the parking lot, man. And then the security's like, we're supposed to stop you right now. I was like, you stopped me. You're getting your ace beat. And they just, like, backed up. And then I had to go. I called the preacher, man. He's like, you need to go back and tell him this and this and this. And uh, I said, I didn't even do anything wrong, though, Mike, except for all that stuff. But, like, that was after the fact, you know. And then, uh, man, I, yeah, I was harassed. I was harassed huge. And then they're, they're, like, trying to hold back on my last checks and stuff because uh, I forgot to clock in and out and all that. And they're like, you might not get paid. And I'm like, man, you have to pay me. <laughs> against the wall and all that stuff. But. So I almost had a job there again because uh, I went and told that same story at McDonald's and then some chick was there. I was reading a Bible verse actually to the Angel Rosa. You remember Angel Rosa, the eyebrow piercing Mexican guy works at McDonald's? I said, uh, I said, man, you've been working hard lately because he's been at work and he's a manager at McDonald's now. I said, uh, I said, he that gathers by labor shall increase. It's in Proverbs. And uh, that chick said, no, the government takes your money. And I was like, yeah, I guess you're right about that. And then uh, she said, uh, you got fired from Forsia? I said, yeah. And she goes, well, I'm a recruiter for a different line. She's like, what's your number? I'll give you a call. And I gave her my number, but I was out of minutes, and she called me, and I didn't get the job. So. <laughs> yeah, but man. I was, I was reading this book at, uh, what is this about? Dreams in the Spirit. It's like a little daily thing. Mm -hmm. A little daily thing. Devotional? Daily devotional? Kind of. It's, it's something, something, uh, not, oh! Is it, it, 